This is a 1955 Chevrolet 3100 short bed pickup truck. And we're going to take for a quick spin and the door open. There we go. And uh, nice old truck. Kind of a, maybe you might call it a old, old uh, farm truck or a driving project. But actually, mechanically, it's in great shape. Uh, we got this truck actually from a guy who owns a speed shop. He builds uh, high performance engines and transmissions. And uh, this was his like running back and forth to the parts shop truck. So he dialed it all in. And in the morning when it's cold, you pull the choke, you touch the key, dip tap the pedal twice, touch the key, she fires right up. And then once she's warmed up, uh, it just drives really good. So uh, it's the old three on the tree. I don't think the e-brake right now is hooked up. No. Shifts through the gears really good. Speedometer looks like it was working. I'm not sure how perfectly accurate it is. It's probably pretty close. We're probably doing about 45 right now. The truck actually steers really good. It steers easily, you know, kind of hold it with one hand. It's straight down the road. It's driving very straight. And it's not wandering or prone to wander. You let go of the steering wheel. To show that, you know, it's not prone to wander. Brakes are all dialed in really good. The, uh, Weather stripping is, you know, missing on the inside of these old trucks. A lot of times you see that. That's why you hear the truck rattling when you're driving down the road. It steers easily. You want to pop the hood for me? Let's get a little... Looking for the exhaust back there. No smoke. Just want to show you that. Engine runs good. There we go. So uh, the great, uh, this is a great, I want to say kind of like a driving project truck, if you want to call it that, or really just an old jalopy. If you're just looking for kind of an old truck to run around town, old farm style truck or whatever. Um, like I said, the guy we got it from, a uh, uh, mechanic and uh, dialed it in real good um, so it really actually runs great the brakes brakes have been gone through those work good the lights work uh, you guys went through the lights the other day on this right Stephen yeah. lights work good and all that so um, it's got good tread on the tires it's got a Newark style I think rally wheels on it don't those are not the original wheels The uh, tailgate's pretty beat up and old. It's kind of, yeah, in fact, when we got the truck, it wasn't on it. We threw it on there just so that it'd be on there. Um, but it, it, you could probably be replaced or pounded out. Depends on what you want to do there. The overall shape of the body is straight and rust free. It's got a couple of little minor stuff that you're going to see on it. There's a spot right there. But the rest of the front of the hood is good. Sometimes they rust out there. There's a little dent there. I mean, it's really kind of the old jalopy. Like I said, it's the old. It's got more of an old farm truck feel to it than it does, you know, a street rod or anything like that. This is not that kind of truck. Of course, not for this price either. This is a, you know, there's some, there's some like uh, rust there and maybe a couple of little spots of where there was some Bondo. But overall, you can hear that is metal and not, I don't believe this is a Bondo bucket. Very, very minor rust. Bottoms of the doors, you know, a little bit rusty, but not, you know, like I said, this is not a rust bucket. In fact, let me show underneath the floor mat. There's a couple of spots of rust there. This floor mat's tucked in pretty good. I don't want to just destroy it. There's a couple of little spots there of rust and a uh, couple patches there. It actually looks like somebody had a different shifter in it on the floor at one point in time, and then it was returned to being a, uh, its original column shift so 
maybe it even had an automatic transmission in it at one point, I'm not sure. But uh, uh, who knows what happened there. Interior looks good overall. Uncut dashboard, or maybe it was cut at one time and then patched. Looks like it's been patched. Original steering wheel and original style interior. This is a bench out of a newer truck or a Viet car. But it looks really good, no rips or tears. It's not does not have the uh, fuel tank in the back of it right now. It's just got a fuel cell in the back that's running off of that, so it could use a new fuel tank. Uh, of course, the big seller on this one is that it's a big back window, and it can be hard to find. Well, the mirror just fell out when I slammed the door, so it's going to need a new mirror. <laughs> that's old trucks. Like I said, good tread on the tires. It's got a wood uh, panel in the back that looks nice and presentable. And like I said, the fuel cell in the back that the truck's running off of. <sighs> Surface rust on the frame, but no any no rust or rot, frame rot. Looks like it's got a newer set of uh, shocks on it. Uh, in other words, they're not the originals. Looks like a patch there, metal patch there, and a patch there, and a little bit of Bondo. Back of the cab corners look pretty good, but probably Bondoed and patched. You can see from the inside, there's some metal there, and a little bit of Bondo. Like I said, the frame looks really good. And on the other side, I didn't catch that, but let me see if I can zoom in over there for you. You can see that there's a little, the same thing on the other side, a little bit of uh, leftover rust, old rust, and then uh, patch panels on that rear piece. Bottom of the door here, rusted out. And down the side here. Uh, cleaning her fender wells and all that so windshield in good shape rear glass in good shape those aren't the original mirrors they're larger and uh, I would probably go back with the original mirrors if it was me so there you have it it's a 1955 Chevy truck um, I love this color uh, the paint is you know faded and splotchy um, this would make a great like just shop truck if you could drive it just like it is and not do anything to it Lights work brake lights work turn signals work. Uh, well, hold on. I want to double check on the turn signal thing uh, Yep, yep. It's got turn signals in it. I was thinking the guys I was looking at the list the other day The guys had gone through in it through it So lights work turn signals brake lights brake work great truck steers straight down the road It fires up even cold in the morning um, Runs through all the gears good. So the glass looks good in it and overall the body is you know i'm gonna say it's 90 percent rust free it's got a couple of rust spots here and there but it's no rust bucket and it's no bondo bucket so it'd make a great project truck drive it while you uh, fix it and i think i've got the price on it at a killer deal give us a call